Russell left me a note in the bus. Hey, Ed just left to Big Stone Gap. Might see you there. Take it easy, Russell. All right, Russell. I'm on my way, man. Sorry, I took a while getting back. So, block party. What is the block party? Let's go find out. I'm coming, Russell. Wait for me. You know, I really had no idea it would be this soon that I ride the Dragon Slayer again. But to get to the block party, you ride the Dragon Slayer back to the area where I ate, and I heard that it's past that. I have no data on my phone. Hit <laughs> dog chasing me. So, I wasn't able to put it in the navigation. I thought you could hook up the GPS and still search and go to places, but my nav was like, something's wrong, you don't have internet. They said earlier it's where I went, just a little further, so I know how to get to where I went. Let's hope we don't run into any more bears on the way there or back, but I'm told that I'm overly worried. It's very rare for a bear to attack you unless you mess with it, especially if it has cubs, which that one did have cubs. I wanna go mess with it. If they feel cornered in or trapped, they'll attack. But other than that, it's rare. Happens, but rare. <laughs> This is going to be fun to ride at night. What the heck? I am ready to put my sweatshirt on already. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Yep. <laughs> going to need that. Lots of mosquitoes in the air now. I don't think there was any earlier because I got like hardly any bugs on my helmet. Maybe that's just because I ride too slow. Man, my head is messing with me. I am seeing bears everywhere. Every dark shadow I see, I'm like, bear. <laughs> I don't know how big this block party is. I have no idea at all what to expect. How sad is that? I really have no idea what to expect. Good thing I didn't wait for the sunset. I didn't, it totally like slipped my mind. I'm so sorry, dude. I totally forgot. I didn't think I'd be leaving this early. I thought it's gonna be a late night thing if you're going to a block party, but I guess if you gotta drive 30 miles and it doesn't feel late cause it's still light out even though it's like eight o'clock at night. Yeah. That's my bad. It's funny because I feel like I don't have to worry about bears because I didn't see a bear on this spot when I went there earlier and back. <laughs> As if they're only in one place. The spot where you've seen the bear, that's where you need to worry. No, they're all over this whole forest. Hey, I shouldn't be talking about that. Last time I talked about it, it's when I seen them. I tell you what, if I see them, I think I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm getting brave now. I think I'm just gonna go if I see them. I love my Hayabusa. I tell you what, I have zero regrets getting this bike. Even with the new one that came out and all that, I have zero regrets getting this bike. I love this bike. It's good in the twisties. Contrary to what everyone's beliefs are. Maybe it's not a 600, but it feels good to me. It's got plenty of power to... Do I want a picture here? Virginia is for lovers. Oh, there's my picture. Okay, got it. We're supposed to be somewhere, dude. Keep stopping and looking at views and stuff that you already did <laughs> today. <laughs> already did it today. Like if I just tried to drive by a bear and it stood up and scratched the helmet, swung at me and just hit the helmet and scratched it, what a shot <laughs> that would be dope <laughs> sort of after it's over it'd be dope like if you didn't fall off the bike or anything you just had a scratch on the helmet and that's it that'd be dope after your heart stopped beating to death considering i'm late to the party i should be going a little faster i guess dragon slayer does have a lot of turns or not remember but the slingshot i'm one the slingshot is dope I like the slingshot. Look, more garbage. That means bears close by. So we go to this block party, have some drinks of Jaeger if it's available. And this should be a really fun ride on the way home. <laughs> Not drunk. Imagine that. No one in front of me the whole way. And I only passed like two cars or something. And it's a lot different of a feeling of a ride when you're riding somewhere rather than just riding. When you're riding your destination, <laughs> it feels like, I don't know. I mean, it's still good to ride, but it's different when you're just like, I'm gonna ride this road. It feels a lot different than, I gotta take this road to get here. I can't believe I'm going to this block party. This is like, not like me at all. <laughs> I'm such a shy, keep to myself person. 
And to go somewhere like this alone. <laughs> yeah, Russell's going to be there. But I don't even know Russell yet. So it's still like going, I don't know, if I even find him. I don't know how big this thing is or what it's going to be. So <laughs> it's so unlike me. What city is this? This is the city I was in earlier. Big Stone Gap. Oh, I didn't know I was in Big Stone Gap. They said it's past where I went. I should have got dude's number. See, I'm shy. That's the thing. I'm very shy. What the hell looks nice? What's that? Buell. What? That's a Buell? So Buell, were they the first coming out with like naked sport bikes like that? I told them where I ate and they said past that. So we are almost to the spot where I ate, which should be like this red light, I think. Hey, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so good at this now. It's definitely not down these city roads like this. Are we lost? We never knew the defin... <laughs> Fucking bugs in my helmet. We never knew the destination. Can we be lost like that? Ah, uh, mother, would you get out of my helmet? That is one thing that makes quick releases way better than others. Is that the walk party? Road closed, maybe. Uh, who found it? Who found it? That's gotta be it. No, it's road closed again. There up, I've seen all the Mini Coopers. But how do we get in there? Are you serious? I can't turn in to the party? Road closed. Dude, is that his Buell? I wonder if that's, a, if that's dude's Buell. How do we get to the party? So let's just leave my bike on the road? They got cars and everyone in there. If it ever feels like I'm going too, f don't don't push yourself. Oh, Never try to keep up. Like always ride in your own limit. Yeah. But just like flash me your light or something if you if we need to slow down a little bit. All right. But I'll try to keep it. You know. I don't even know if I have my cardo on. There we go. Oh, Pack Talk Slim DMC Intercom Mo Mobile Phone One Connected. Ha <laughs> ha Had a good time tonight. Met up with Russell. He's the one that left me the note. Like. I parked next to his bike and he came walking right down with me. I think my battery died right before that. Huh? Straight. <laughs> Look at it. I'm leading the way again. The guy that always gets lost. I got my nav. In 2.7 miles. Turn left on North Inman Street. Ah, he's like, I hope we see some bears. No, don't say that. We don't want to see bears. I don't want to see no bears on the road on the way home. He's dying to see bears walking around. Like, hopefully at the campground when we're inside our vehicles, safe, not in the road on the way home. Uh, he's a cool ass guy, man. We, like instantly clicked and like talking forever. A lot about the Philippines. He's traveled to Thailand and everything and uh, I don't know how much I should say about his personal life, but yeah, he has a friend in the Philippines, so he knew some about it too. I have not rode in so long at night. It is freaking cold as hell. So hot earlier. I'm like, keep washing myself all day long, dipping a microfiber towel into my cooler of melted ice. And now it's freezing cold and I even have a jacket on. Yeah. I'm just really hoping not to see any bears. I didn't film while we were at the block party, but it was cool. It was actually, we had a good time and all I did was really talk to him. Sat down, had a few drinks and stuff, nothing major, a couple drinks, and talked a lot. This dude's really cool and I could say a lot, but I don't wanna invade his privacy. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Happy to be out, enjoying life, riding a bike. Turn left, then turn right on North Inman Street. Good? Turn right on North Inman Street. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. This is our road. This is our road that has bears. <laughs> this is so freaking sketch. In the Philippines, it's like, I hope a dog doesn't get in front of me or something like that. Oh my gosh, I hope a bear doesn't get in front of me. And this guy wants one. 
Dude, it's so nice out here. I can't, I can't even explain. Like every person I've met, but I guess it's, it's usually always like that with motorcycle stuff. You know, anyone that's on a bike is really nice. They're a nice person, just about always. It's seldom you see people that act like assholes. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's not that, it's kind of rare. And out here, even the people not on bikes, they're just like super inviting and nice. So ch laid back, chill, like the rest of the world isn't happening. This guy, <laughs> oh man. I don't know how, I'm like spilling my guts whole life story to him. I'm like, so tell me your story, is that you got my life story? He's like, no, I can't go after that. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be like mine. But then he's telling me his stuff and I'm like, wow. Because everyone's stories are always wow to someone else and not to yourself. Oh, creepy as fuck right now. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> This ain't even funny nighttime with bears. Fuck. This is kind of like scary, dude. <laughs> Daytime's scary enough, but at least they're not just gonna pop up on them. Or you still might on the turns. This is sketch. You alright? No, he's good, man talking about keep it slow fuck me this is around the area the bears were at last time holy crap okay dude if you got turns like that and you're good on those you're good <laughs> starting to get nervous start freaking revving the engine yeah sketch you can't see anything coming so he wants to see bears but he wants me to take the lead <laughs> that's not cool i feel like he's giving me enough space <laughs> for, for the bear in case he sees one <laughs> to decide what he wants to do because he's hanging these corners very well and he's still staying back there she was like, that's alright dude, I'll follow you. <laughs> I'm thinking that if I see one, you just try to creep by it without bothering it. Horn's not very scary sounding. <laughs> Worst moto vlog ever on the way home. We'll cut like 90% of this out <laughs> to save you from all the boredom and all the bear talk. I'll just leave it that we had a good time. I did at least. In the Philippines we ride and they worry about the white lady. I'm worried about the black lady with cubs. So would you like rev the hell out of it? Or would that antagonize it? Or would you just try to creep by slowly? Or would it feel like you're sneaking up on it? <laughs> like, shit man, I don't have bear training. This road's a lot longer than I remember. In 2.9 miles. Thank you. Turn left on conveyor drive. Thank you. <laughs> three miles. I can do three more miles. Oh, take a deep breath. I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. We're out of the woods, but there's still bears out here. But I feel a lot better being on a road with houses on both sides of me that if something happened, maybe I wouldn't get eaten or go off a mountain cliff or something that he's brought into the picture. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're home. We made it. Ah, campground right behind here. That's kind of cool. He was just traveling around and booking campgrounds and he found this place. And then, bam, look, it's motorcycle stuff. They seen the bike on the back of his truck and we're like, hey. All right. How are we doing this whole parking the bikes thing? In 800 feet, turn left on West Main Street. I don't know if I want to turn those off. <laughs> How was that? Well, dude, we didn't see any bears, but that uh, also didn't end up uh, going off any mountains either. Yeah, <laughs> made it home safe. I'm all right with that.